you've made it to day seven. So today's the last day of the seven day gratitude challenge. So I would like to really commend you for making it. Even though seven days is still a great number of days of doing something consecutively, even though it was very short and brief and simple to really transform, especially when we're working with the high energy of gratitude. So let's come to relaxing again. Take some deep breaths. Feel the earth beneath you. So this should be kind of automatic for you by now. And then you can repeat your intention you set for this challenge. Or you can set a different one now. It's always better to just stick to one and stay with it for length of time. And then today, I'm, I would like to share with you the Reiki precepts. So these are the Reiki principle. It's the principles to live by when you connect to the Reiki energy. As you know, if you've been with me, I'm a Reiki master and I just became a Reiki master teacher. And I've been Reiki master for several years now. So gra um, gratitude is part of the Reiki precepts. It's a big part of it. And it's a principle to live by as a Reiki practitioner, especially. But even for those that are interested in Reiki or like to connect with that highest healing universal energy that we all have access to. Just that when you become attuned as a Reiki level one healer, level two master, and beyond master teacher um, we're just expanding the capacity to channel that in a stronger more direct channel we're connecting to that universal energy of the highest healing potential and it also helps us to elevate to the highest vibration um, like gratitude so Reiki precepts, what you're going to do is gather your hands together, palms together at your heart center, relax your shoulders, and you don't have to be attuned to Reiki to practice the Reiki precepts. As a, a receiver of Reiki, you can also practice it. You can gently Softly gaze at the tip of your middle fingers. Make sure your shoulders are not shrugged up, relaxed. Feet are firmly grounded. And you definitely want to do this seated, not lying down. And basically it keeps you in the present moment by repeating just for today. I will not worry. Just for today, I will not be angry. Just for today, I am grateful. Just for today, I will do my best work honestly and with integrity. Just for today, I will be kind to all living beings. And then relax. And then 
and take a moment to write three things you're grateful for today. So I hope you brought your journal or something to write on. Again, you can write the same thing every day. You don't have to get that creative. We're just expanding and through repetition, connecting and expanding the energy of gratitude. The more we connect to the feelings and the energy of gratitude, as I've mentioned on the first day, where the attention goes, energy flows. So what we focus on is what's gonna grow. And that's the easiest, simplest way to keep our mindset positive. So whenever there are neg negative thoughts, if you antidote is just, I am grateful for, and then think of something you're grateful for. And then even though it's the same thing, you keep writing it over and over. So there's power in repetition. So. Today, I definitely want to celebrate you, your wins, and your big win is that you made it through all seven days and extra, extra praises to you if you've done all the assignments each day as well. And share anything that really stood up for you any practices that really resonate with you, resonated with you that you want to continue with or anything that happened, any synchronicity. I love hearing about synchronicities, these happenstances like meeting someone that's going to introduce you to something that you set the intention for that's going to get you closer to that goal. Um, it could be a New Year's goal you set up for this year. So it doesn't have to be the intention you set for this challenge, but any synchronicity that might have came up. So when you put the work in, when you elevate with gratitude, energy, it's going to align you to all that you've done to really meet you where you are. So. You know, you definitely want to prepare yourself so when you meet these opportunities, you're like ready to go instead of having to fidget around and figure out how to do things and fake it. So just always be ready. Always keep your eye on your vision, that laser focus. Today, I want you to just connect with the beauty. And if you have a space where you create, where you work, or your bedroom, um, I want you to pick an area in your space, whether it's work or home, to beautify your space. And you could even create an altar for your gratitude practice or your meditation practice if you decide to do it. Or, um, an altar could just have a flower, candle, an area you dedicate that just brings you joy, putting things that you can connect to the sense of gratitude or feelings of joy that's going to make you feel joyful and aesthetically pleasing and beautiful to look at. So it could be like a, a vase with fresh flowers and pictures. Um, if you have a uh, faith, you can put a picture of your, you know, Jesus or Buddha or whatever faith, you know, the, the leaders. It could be a guru, it could be a vision board. So it could be anything. And feel free to share your photo and tag me on Instagram at turtleflow underscore and stories. Let me know um, how this whole experience has been for you and I hope it has helped you in some way, however small or big. And I'm wishing you 
nothing but the best for you to be your best unique creative self that you are here to express and share in this world so i really want to thank you if you decide to continue with the gratitude journaling i highly recommend it pick a morning or night that works the best for you and you don't have to be so rigid with sticking to the same time as long as you get to do it at some point in the day but the best time is when you first wake up or when you, right before you go to sleep so thank you so much i hope to see you in my other videos and be sure to subscribe to this channel and if you feel like anybody could use this gratitude challenge you can always send them a link to any of the videos and it'll have the link to join the email and then it'll take them through from first day and you can redo this at any time thank you namaste and congratulations on completing the seven day gratitude challenge <laughs>